Hello everyone, I am Alex, the Hyrian Gamer, and welcome back to another part of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Legend. In the last episode, we finally made it to Slow Aroma Town, which is the halfway mark to get to Eternal City, and more Pokemon by the way. And, well, we decided to help with some prizes happening on the Valley Dream Works and reunited a little girl with, his dad, with her daddy. So in today's episode, we are going to continue our way through and we are going to hopefully, hopefully finally make it to Eternal City. In fact, I am bound and determined to finally make it in this episode to Eternal City. Because oh my god, I am really looking forward to catch more Pokemon for my party. For the official party. So, anyways, let's proceed. And if we talk to this guy, he's going to explain to us the mechanic of the flattering honey and this uh, yellow freeze, and so we can get more Pokemon. But like I said, because I can't, oh, maybe I should run back to the Pokemon Center because Changemon got a little bit hurt on that battle. Um, you know what? I'm going to do just that, so I will see you back at this point, be right. So anyways, as I was saying, we're going to make it today to Eterna, for, uh, to Eterna City. So, first of all, we're going to deal with this guy. How about a quick battle before I leave for Eterna Forest? Bring it on. I'm going to destroy you anyway, so I don't care. Come for Jacob. Oof. Be collection of Pokemon in this case. Um, I decided to switch father because I re because I thought I remembered that this guy that this guy used a water type Pokemon. So let's fight fire with fire instead. Oops. My bad. Good thing that good thing that my little sibling didn't get a, didn't get hurt. So, uh, so Changamon, use your power of punch and, kill, uh, and punch this little horsey in the face. I feel sorry, I like horses. Anyways. But I have a monkey that, that loves punching everything in the face, so I cannot help it. It wasn't my choice, it was my sister's choice. Okay. Anyways. So, moving on, let's continue with this adventure. Alright, let's see what else is around. Okay, I cannot proceed except through the whole grass. Oh my god, my ear, my ear is itchy. Oh my god, Shellos! I wish I could catch you! I really like you! But you still kind of suck! Anyways, we're going to use a sword for Shellus, and this is a water type Pokemon, so Father number 3 should not have any problems with this Shellus, but I'm going to catch it just for the Pokedex entry, not so much because I'm planning to use it as a Father Pokemon, because I think 3 Father Pokemon are good enough for now. So anyways, let's use a to catch this shallot. And let's read the Pokedex entry for shallot. Okay. Gacha shallot was caught. Shallot's okay. data will be added to the Pokedex. Shallot's the Sweetlock Pokemon, West Sea form. Its color and shapes differ from region to region. In the Sino region, two types are confirmed. Okay, so shellos can be pink or can be blue, depending on the depending on where you catch shellos. If you catch it on the eastern side of Sino, then it will be blue. If you catch it on the western side of Sino, then it will be pink. So anyway. There's a mountain here, but I'm dressed to hide. Ha ha ha! I'm going to kick your ass. 
I am going to kick your ass so hard. Okay, so let's have let's have father number three have a little fun with this guy. Why not? Okay, so use absorb father number three. Very good. Super effective. And I think this guy uses a lot of gear boost, so I think I'm going, if it uses another gear dude, I'm going to cut the I'm going to try it so we don't get to see a lot. Yep. I'm going to cut it and if I see that a new Pokemon emerges, I'm going to proceed to show you. Okay, so father number three is going to have a lot of fun eating bugs. Be right back. So why is a rock type why is a rock type and fighting type a specialist like a hiker uh, doing with a video? I don't know, but Changumon has the urge to punch something in the face. So Changumon, why don't you punch things in the face? I give you my blessing. Punch them in the face. And a matchup. This is good for father number two. Father number two, do your job and do it well. Make me proud. Okay, so intimidate from father number two. So father number two, you swing attack, kill it, and that's it. Oops, I forgot to remove the colors from the party. Uh, well, we're going to do that in a moment. Okay, it gives me the opportunity to show you how to use the Pokemon storage. Well, the remote Pokemon storage. So, here we're going to go to the Pokemon icon here and we're going to press the R button to access our boxes. And with this, we can drop in shallows, but let's check the summary just for curiosity. Oops, uh, why? Adamant, quiet. Oh, okay, it's a defensive shallow. It has pretty good attack, but very low speed, which is quite normal. Oh my god, you were such a good shallows. And I can't, and I won't use you because I have too many fathers already. Anyways, let's proceed. So for this aroma lady, I am thinking of using father number two because Tangoman kind of needs a break. Anyways, I love Pokemon that smells sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this, ma'am. What are you making me try to... What are you trying to make me smell? Man, do you want me to get poisoned by your bad view? You're a horrible woman. You're such a horrible woman. I don't... I don't care if, if you think your bad view is... Smells good. I don't want to smell it. Why do you try to press your body to my face? Are you trying to get this poison point to activate on my face and give me acne? Or kill me? You suck. Okay, get on my Pokemon smell plant. No. It smelled like butt. Okay. So uh, anyways, usually trainers that walk around uh, don't battle teams, but uh, the ones that walk on the line, they do battle teams. So, let's plant another orange berry, and why not, let's plant another cherry berry. Okay, so I will be collecting berries, um, collecting and planting berries on screen, but whenever we see a new a new batch of, of berries on the wild, then I'm going to show how I collect them. But anyway, okay, let's go. Oh, she actually broke the rule. Okay, 
Pokemon? Anyways, let's see. What Pokemon does she use? Okay, she uses two Pokemon. One of them is Go. Father number two is improbable because it's an electric type Pokemon. So I need to retreat father number two as quickly as possible because if not, things are going to get dicey. And Shocky. I'm very electrifying. Mom's punch it in the face. I don't care if it is cute. Chuck of Mon, why do you punch it in the face? I know I ordered you to do that, but come on, you don't have to take me seriously every time. No, Chuck Mon, stop punching it. It's so cute. Why? Why do you? Why do you want to destroy something that is so cute? Are you jealous because you're not a cute little monkey anymore? Okay. You can do you can do whatever you want with Pachirisu, I don't care. Okay. Do whatever you want to Pachirisu, I don't care. Punch it repeatedly until it dies. I don't care. Do whatever you want. And the punch is my punch. And goodbye Pachirisu. I would say it was nice meeting ya, yeah, but I don't like lighting. So, anyways. So. And I think this guy uses water type, specifically whistle. So, let's. Don't tell me I forgot that Pokeball. I completely forgot about that one. God damn it. Oh well. Ah! It was a good call anyways to lead up with father number three. Father number three, have fun. Have fun sucking that rock dry. Father, use a sword. Well done, but you Okay. So, but you... Oh, well, Changeman is rolling up. More and more. Okay. Flame Wheel. Ooh, this is much better than Ember, actually. So, let's substitute it. Okay, Changeman forgot Ember. And learned Flame Wheel instead. Okay. So, I will see you back at the bridge when I collected So, that that thing that was over there was a Pokemon. So, I just lost time to grab a Pokeball that turned out to be a Pokeball. What the hell, game? Don't make me waste my time. Of all possible places, I've lost my way to. Wahahaha. <laughs> You're an idiot. Anyways, Hector Nicholas. Okay, you're going to send out an Onyx, which is no problem for my little buddy you. Okay, so father number three. Don't be intimidated. You can do it. I believe in you. Use your stun for First, to paralyze. Just to add salt to you. Okay, Onyx is what Okay, buddy. Restore yourself, why not? We can go. Very good. And Onyx is paralyzed, so. <laughs> okay, but you finish it. You absorb again. And that's it for Onyx. So, Hiker Nicholas, you lost. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Okay, so 
we're going to deal with this Charada lady and because she uses fighting type Pokemon, Father number 2 is going to be very helpful here. Okay, so if you want to avoid having a lot of battles on the wild, you can use repels to get them away from you. Hey, I'm not trying to hold back. I don't care. I'm going to beat you. You're going to lose. Okay, Battle Girl Kelsey uses my shot. Which is going to get destroyed by my father number two. Alright. Father number two, use your wing attack. Bitch, slap it in the face. it with Tactical. Endeavor is an attack that makes the other Pokemon suffer the same damage they have given to you. So basically if your Pokemon only has 1 HP left, then you can use this attack to make the other the other Pokemon get back to well, a 1 HP. Okay, so she just gave me 540 Poké Dollars, I'm getting richer by the minute, woohoo! Hmm, what's on the other side of this? I don't think I have ever seen this side of thing, but whatever, I digress. I think this trainer will use Water-type Pokémon, so let's see if my instincts are correct. Oh, you're challenged by Picknicker Karina. Okay, she's going to send out a Piplup, which we are very familiar with, you know, because we have killed Barry and his Piplup twice, I believe now. But anyways, let's use a stun for a stun score just to be a dick La 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 la. The Piplup is paralyzed. Okay, now let's use Absorb to kill up my my little seedling. Okay, my little buddy. And it will be Charm, which is not going to affect me in any way because I'm not using any attacks. Well, physical attacks, that is. Okay, continue absorbing. Alright, you found, I don't care. And finish it with another absorb. Oh wait, it took four absorbs? Holy shit, other number three is awful, I believe. Anyway. Okay, father number three, you can go and finish it. Alright, and with this, Father number 3 has grown to level 8. Okay, Technical Torino. Oh, boo, how insulting. Boo, I don't care. Anyways, let's get inside here to get a little healing. Listen to the tired, let's rest. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me sleep on your bed. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. You think you can get? Well, yes, I can. Okay. So, moving on. In Welcome to Eterna Forest. This is the final landmark before the... Well, before getting to Eterna City. And we are going to get approached by this trainer. Oh, hello. My name's Cheryl. And you are? Okay, so your name is Alex. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Alex, may I ask you a big favor? I want to get through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called King Galactic about. 
I think there will be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? And she joins our party. And now, Cheryl makes it so that every Pokemon encounter that we get is a double battle. Which is not bad, but it makes things a little bit more complicated. Let me show you why. So, for example, let's say that I want to catch that Silphine, right? Well, because Cheryl is in my party, I first need to get rid of, of Badu on the right. And then I need to I hope I need to hope that Cheryl doesn't try to kill the the Silphine that I'm going to try to get. So this thing this makes things a little bit more complicated for everyone. Okay, so, and she's going to use, well, I'm going to catch the, uh, I'm going to catch Silphion anyway, just for the Pokedex, so, let's hope that Cheryl doesn't kill it, or I don't kill it, okay, so use Wing Attack to get rid of Badu, and now, let's hope, that my idea of using Endeavor works. Okay, Father is going to learn Spark, so let's teach her Spark by forgetting Tackle. Alright. Father forgot Tackle, and it learns Spark. Okay, so Tilton is going to continue using Carson which is going to be very helpful for us in the long run anyways. No, 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 no. I learned my lesson. Super effective attack to equally heal. Okay, Cheryl, 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 don't kill it. Alright, so let's use a Pokeball and catch this Silky. This was only a demonstration and just for the Pokemon. Every subsequent battle, a, well, every subsequent wild, double wild encounter I will skip, no matter the... Unless it, we catch a new Pokemon. Okay, so Silcoon's data will be added to the Pokemon. It anchors... Okay, Silcoon, the Cocoon Pokemon. It anchors itself by dragging twigs with the silk from its body. Motionlessly awaits evolution. Okay, so no, I'm not going to give you a nickname because I'm not going to eat you. Did you were just an example. So, we're going to send you back to the box. And I am really bound and determined to make it to Eternal City in this episode. I didn't want shallows. I accidentally stupid oversensitive controller. Okay, so Shellos is going back. So moving on. And to tilt. Okay. So if we had an EV right now, uh, we could use it to we could use this place and level it up so it would become a Lithium, which is not a bad Pokemon, especially I I like the design, but it's not my favorite form of EV. My favorite team Espion and well obviously uh Vaporeon and Jolteon and also Glacier. I really like the design of Glacier. It looks so beautiful. Okay, so another thing that Cherry brings, that Cheryl brings to the table is that whenever she, whenever you get approached by trainers, especially if, if it is two trainers at the same time, you will get immediately in a double battle and she will be your tag teammate. Okay, so lastly Anna sent a Pachirisu but to catch her Jack and uh, one. Okay. So I don't think I can do much against the factory too, not a, not with my current setup. So how about <clears throat> sorry, my crowd dried up. Uh, how about we go with Changamon? Because Changamon 
has a new attack and I really want to show it up. Alright, so let's go that Cheryl uses this Ooh, for Cheryl. Okay, she's using the disarming code, which is not bad, but against bug types is not very good either. And she got lucky, actually. So I'm going to show you the attack queen. Okay, so basically what it does is that it engages Monferno into into a ball of fire and it will, and it destroys it. Okay. So and the man use your twin wheel. There is an announcement by the Pokemon Company. One moment. I I'm going to check this out in a moment. So I will be back as soon as I check out what is this announcement about because it's really bothering me. Be right back. Stupid kidding notification make me interrupt my recording session. So um, it ended up being nothing. Uh, I'm sorry about that guy. But anyway, it was just the announcement of more things that you can do in Pokemon 3 d Attack shiny girl and I these are mostly relegated to post games and team leaders that well we haven't met yet so I'm not going to bother with that any anyway. So this is the attack of Queen Wheel. Oh wait we already saw it in the when I killed Wormful. So this is Beautifly and it's the final evolution of Wormful. Uh, ooh Chansey thank you for healing me I appreciate it. Let's kill this butterfly using my point wheel. Okay. What else do you have for Changamon, the destroyer of planets? has a token so she has the entire uh, beautifly evolutionary family for token. Okay. You know what? I'm going to help Cheryl. Changamon just power a punch to kill the Pachirisu and then we're going to fly this token. Okay. Changamon is level 20 which is not bad actually for us. It will be very bad for the team later as soon as we arrive to the, to the city where she is. Maybe I should only have my three brothers right now. So to avoid overlapping for the team later because one problem that this team creates is that it's not well optimized for the for the permanent AX for the permanent party uh, EXP share and the team leaders in consequence suffer because of this uh, no joke on my research file I ended up fighting the gym leader Fantina with my Pokemon being 10 levels higher than her highest than her highest Pokemon and it was ridiculous I want to have some semblance of challenge, so I ended up not challenging any more trainers, I ended up challenging or running or using repels to avoid a wild Pokemon. But come on, it's a Pokemon game, you are, su you are not supposed to skip the trainers, you are not supposed to skip Pokemon battles, and that kind of takes away a lot of the things that are very good about Pokemon in general. So, Game Freak, I understand that you want to make your games more accessible to younger and inexperienced players, but come on, don't don't let veterans of your flagship franchise pay for it. I mean, yes, make us pay for your games, but do not make us pay by having to sit through the EXP share. Why not create a difficult setting or something? Anyway, energy ball on Abra. Uh, there, father, use your bike. 
Okay, very good. And now, we're going to get rid of that other Abra. Okay, so Butter. Ooh, Sweet Kiss. Okay, so that will confuse Abra. But Father is going to eliminate it in so Father use bite. Okay. Very good, Chandomon is level 20. I don't know if I should leave Chandomon on the box for a little bit so it doesn't drop the level for the team leader. Especially because I'm going to capture more Pokemon uh, very soon, as soon as we get to Eterna City. Ah, you know what? No, I'm not leaving Changomon uh, out just yet. I'm going to do it when I catch the new Pokemon. So anyways, we're going to get into a battle against Bugside Trainer, so I don't care, we're going to kill them very easily. And like I said, I am bound and determined to get to Eterna City in this episode, so I don't mind making this a longer episode. I, and I hope you guys don't mind either. Okay, so in twenty days we're from father number two to the other. Very good, father number two. Okay, so let's use wing attack of wormhole. So bitch slap the wormhole in the face. Other opposition of Wormhole, the Dust Dogs family. Okay, okay. I like what you're throwing out. Goodbye, Dust Dogs. You suck. You look cool, but you suck. Okay, the Sunning Boys against Furby. Okay, so one thing that Furby has is that Furby has two peculiar features. First of all, Bernie can become a bug type or a grass type, a bug type and a rock type, or a bug type and a psychic type, depending on where you use it, for example, uh, okay? And also, well, depending on the gender of Bernie, it can evolve into either Wormadam or it can evolve into Mocken. This, is, this was a male Bernie, so it, is, it can evolve into Mocken. But, yeah, I don't see the appeal of Burmy, to be honest with you. It, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, it looks cool. Oh, and we're going to see also the evolution of Cricket Ton, the Cricket Ton, Cricket Team. So we're going to get, we're going to dispatch the Cricket Team. Alright, and maybe I should do something a little bit as soon now. Okay, so Cheryl is going to give it a sweet kiss, which is not bad, it's going to confuse it, and hopefully instead of blocking its attack, no, I mean its defense, but I was too hopeful and I wasn't I. Oh well, Father 2 just wing attack, kill it. It's never that easy, is it? Okay. So we're going to get rid of these two blood catchers. And let's continue right here, right now. Ooh, Pokeball. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Potion. Not quite helpful, but okay, I'll take it. And I'm going to skip this battle. Be right back. Okay, so let's proceed through the forest and continue exploring what's inside of here. Ooh, a Baneary! Okay, I'm going to catch it just for the Pokedex entry, but I'm going to skip most of the battle until we are ready to catch Baneary. So we'll be right back! I killed the Baneary. Oops. That's the problem of having over level Pokemon. 
Anyways, let's proceed to here and let's continue our merry way towards the Turna City. Okay, so we found a jar of honey on the way. And this is where we are going to catch another Pokemon for a party. Okay, we're going to catch a Ghastly inside this little manor that is over here. But we have the big problem that we need to use the hidden ability cut and guess what? I still don't have cut because I need to be the second team leader in order to get that ability. So this is the end of Eterna Forest and Cheryl is going to say goodbye to us. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Alex. Dude, you have a very strong Pokemon. Come on, don't bullshit me. So, anyways, there will be some more berries to plot right here, and also a lot of Pokemon for for both Luxio and Badu to have fun with. So, one moment, let's walk. No way, because I don't want to get caught by Pokemon. And here are four berry trees. We're going to take all of the berries and you know the drill, we're going to plant them back because we need more berries. Okay, no no no, I don't want to sprinkle water just yet. Okay, I'm going to get to fetch berries. Let's plant another fetch berry. Oh my god, why do I have so many fetch berries? Okay, so we're going to grab another orange berry and uh, why not plant another orange berry? And uh, we're going to grab we're going to plant our last chest of berry. Okay. Okay, so be right back. Let's do some water. And automatically it waters down. Very good. Okay, they're all happy. Alright. So let's have fun with these trainers. But I'm going to live with father and father three. Why not? Because they kind of need some training and some love. Okay, so let's have a battle against this guy. Okay, Fisher Zachary. Okay, a magic card. I think this guy's I think this guy has like three magic cards. So if it is the case, I'm going to skip it. Alright. Father number three uses a sword and kills it. A critical hit. This is it. Okay. What else do you have? A golden. Okay. Fry fish, fry fish, take your fry fish home with you. I'm going to fry a fish using electricity. Okay, so go game is out and we're going to spark it. Okay, which is an electric tackle. Alright, very good. Look here. Well done. What a great job. And another mighty card. You know what? Let's electrocute it. Why not? And show it. Luxio, another spark. Okay, so another trainer for us. Nothing fighting, so I can put the battle view and I can for you Fisher and uh, oh no 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 this is the guy with the six magic cards uh I'm going to spare you the battle so I will see you when the battle is over just to show you that Changamon uh, grew another club I'm going to continue sparing the battle that was magic card number two seriously dude 
They're complaining that you're shooting in chariots. How about you start by not having six fucking magic cards that can only splash? So anyways, I think that but you isn't the volume just yet. What the fuck? Okay, anyways, let's see what this guy has. The fisherman is going to send a cookie. Okay, but you, this is for you. Okay, he, he only has one Pokemon, so this will be quick. Or maybe not so quick. Hmm. No, what? Let's just throw to have more attack. Water pulse. No, it's not very effective. Or... And that's it. You're out, Jiggy. Okay, so father, the original father drew the lovely plane. And I think. This is the final trainer or just an NPC? Yep, it's an NPC. So, yeah, this is it. We finally made it to Eternal City, and would you look at that? Team Galactic is making a mess in the city. Whoop de doo. However, we cannot do anything about them right now, so we're going to go to the Pokemon Center. And I'm going to wrap things up right here as soon as my Pokemon get healed. Okay, so let's save up. And well, guys, this is it for this episode. I am Alex the Hylian Gamer, and I will see you in the next episode to catch a couple, maybe, maybe. No promises here. A couple of Pokemon that will that were selected by my friends. So I will see you in the next time. Oh, I almost forgot. Question of the day. Question of the day. Okay. What is your favorite city or or town in the Pokemon franchise? Please let me know in the comment section below. One of my favorite cities in, in the Pokemon franchise is Nimbasa City in Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2. But I would like to hear your opinion on it on the comment section below. And if you like this video, please make sure to smash the like button and consider subscribing for more awesome content. I am Alex, the Highland Gamer, and see you next time. Take care.